finally, how do we ensure that they're learning what we say they're learning? So we have these big ideas. We talk a lot about student learning outcomes assessment at the course level, so you have course objectives and course outcomes. But when you leave higher education, what are the things that stay with you or the big ideas, things like critical thinking and communication and computation, the things you're need going to do in your career. And so we want to work a little more specifically on developing those things over time. The nice thing about this is because it's a series of big ideas, the college can use its expertise in understanding its local economy, local transfer system. I mean, uh, some of those places, um, you know, if you're up at Butte College in Northern California, you got a great relationship with Chico State because you're right next door to them. They have really you have the chance to you have really strong transfer pathways. I mean, if you're 60 miles from the nearest college, you have a nearest four-year transfer school, you've got a different set of things you're going to have to do. Um, so I think the, the good thing here is that these ideas apply in all settings. Some of the, you know, those you know, students still need to get on a path, right? They need to know where they're taking to get to, to, where, where, to, to, get to where they're trying to go. Um, one other thing you brought up there is the kind of intersection between career and transfer and we very strongly believe it's all different spots on a continuum right we talk about true career pathways and and kind of stackable credentials and those things happening over time that that's something I think we've said a lot that folks like Career Ladders Project and others in California have really helped make real mm -hmm.